horrible spot for the camera, I know, but I'm gonna go take pictures. Going for a drive because it's a beautiful day and it's my day off. But first, I have a disgusting bag full of deer meat or scraps, fat, fur, that sort of thing that I need to get rid of because it uh, it just is not staying frozen in my garage anymore and my neighbor's cat is getting in it and so I mean without getting stuck here I gonna find a spot to, to dump this and get it the hell out of my life. Keyword without getting stuck. I'm gonna get a little bit of mud on my vehicle here, but oh, two wheel high. You're so useless. Oh. No. I should not be here. It's soft. Yeah, it's soft. Shit. I gotta back out. Easier downhill, right? Woohoo, gravel. Obviously, I could go through that. I'm driving a Jeep. I just don't want to get stuck when I'm out here by myself. First, wildlife is just a partridge it's up the trail I could see it so here's my tip don't drive up to it stop make sure everything is ready maybe take your super cool sunglasses off What I'm gonna do is just roll up to it in drive. Um, without revving my engine. It already saw you. So, I don't wanna shoot through the windshield. I wanna shoot out my window. So I have to clean out my window. And this is all if it doesn't fly away. When you think you're pushing your luck, stop and take a shot. Then move closer. Okay. There, proof I seen it. No. I gotta rev up a bit. I go in four by four low just to now I could just use the clutch. I don't have to rev the shit out of my car and scare the animals. Now I'm going to crawl up another 10 feet, angle my vehicle and take another picture. There he goes. He's gone. So had I just driven up to him and 
afraid that he would stay there and me take a picture. That's not the way to go. You stop, take a picture, and it doesn't have to be a, a, a great picture. It's just, I saw it, I got a picture, perfect, that counts, you know. Um, then creep up, then creep up, then creep up. And hopefully you get one, two, three, four, five pictures. And, you know, the fourth and fifth picture is the keeper. I only got two pictures off this time. But, um, it was staying still. And then as I creeped up, it got a little nervous. So, creep up to your animals. Don't just drive up to them and hope for the best. Maybe that's not a bad spot for that camera. Wildlife number three, because I saw a squirrel and didn't tell you about it. There's ducks in the pond, and this is hard because as you as you roll up, they love to fly away. If they're wood ducks, you're screwed. Two of them just took off. Definitely don't get out of the vehicle. All you could do in, in, with these guys is just... Oh, maybe there were just two. I think they took off. Okay. <laughs> Forget about them. I don't know what happened to this, but this was all underwater. This was a little pond, and now look at it. Oh, look at the beaver house right in the middle. I saw like, oh my god, the water's gone. And the thing's full of ducks. Here's a great tip. Take your st stupid seat belt and click it in behind you so the car will shoot. Thought I'd try. Actually, I don't think they're blue herons. I think they're sandhill cranes because they stick together. Blue herons. When do you ever see five blue herons together? It has been a great day for birds, though. Definitely sandhill cranes. Oh, and a blue hair. I'm gonna try to get some SLR footage. It's not easy to film with a 400, you understand. Sorry, I don't know why I that window. It's not easy to drive. But I'm doing it for you. I'm gonna crank my vehicle to the left so I can shoot up my passenger side.
the blue heron. And there's a couple sandhill cranes. So I just gotta try to get closer. There's a blue heron. And there's a couple sandhill cranes. And I just gotta try to get closer. It's funny, I'm videotaping myself videotaping. It's like you guys are getting behind the scenes footage at the same time. It's the same thing with the partridge, right? You don't push your luck. You just get within distance to take a shot and take a shot. Then push your luck. Now I'm pushing my luck. I'm gonna go diagonal with them. So I can shoot straight out the pads in their side window. And my heat, the heat in my vehicle is off. You don't need that those heat waves coming out of your window, you know? You don't want to shoot through that stuff. Heron took off and landed around a little point. The sandhill cranes are still there. There's a couple mallards. Sandhill cranes are obviously not as touchy as blue herons. There, an SLR. Now you can see me. Two very interesting shots. You can tell which uh, Sandhill Crane is a male because he's trying to impress the other one and, and he's doing his mating dance. But this, the Blue Heron came back and he was going to fly right over the Sandhill Crane so I waited and my focus is on the Blue Heron which might look weird but I'm going to show you the picture. And uh, so I got a Sandhill Crane with a Blue Heron flying by. That's hilarious. It's not really a good picture. It's just it's just hilarious that that would be in the same shot even. So, awesome. Awesome day for birds. Doesn't look like anybody's put some tracks in here in a while. I guess I'll just have to set the bar. Well, the road's come to an end. So, I gotta go to town and do some stuff, but I just wanted to check out this park area. The bay is thawed out, and I think I saw a duck. There's a duck swimming away from me. I think I'll just park and stretch my legs. <laughs> 